Day number two of the tournament. I took a completely different strategy this time. Usually I rush melee, this time I rushed ranged with Wilderness Slayer. And it worked out because I got a PvP weapon drop. I got 50 Morrigan Javelins. It could have been a VLS, but I can't really complain. I'm probably just going to keep them for the 1v1s. We'll see. So things are going really well. 85 range, 65 Slayer. I'm making bank on the old flipping. And it's now time to do Underground Pass pre -rex because I'm going to get Iban Staff and we're rushing Barrows. That was the plan to do Wildy Slayer until I have a good few hundred K because the Ivan's upgrade costs 200 K and obviously I need supplies for barrows and everything. There's the first one out of the way, Plague City. Next is Biohazard. There's Biohazard. Time for Underground Pass, hopefully no one's camping there. There has been PKs there before. Beautiful quest to get out of the way, Underground Pass. However, obviously before I can equip the Ivan staff, I need level 50 attack. I have some emblems to trade in, but there's that guy. Level 85 with Ancients and an Aram's top. Gonna get a few prayer levels because 44 prayer isn't gonna heal too much with the prayer pots. There it is, smite has been achieved. Waterfall quest completed. That starts off my melees. 30 to attack and 30 strength already. Here we go, let's get 50 attack. And yes, that is my gear. Finally, level 50 attack. Upgrade your Ivan staff. Here's 200k. Can now hold 2,500 charges, sick. Don't insult the setup. But this is what I'm rocking with for now. This is the best I can do. Is anyone else doing barrows? Couple people. This should be really good mage XP. So I started with 51 magic. See what we can get to. Here we go, the first ever barrows test on DMM. Really do need to get my stats up quick time because I could just pop up one of these tunnels on really low HP and get one banged so easily. 60 magic coming in. The high magic is going to help a lot because of PKs. Obviously, they're going to splash a lot more. MSB finally bought for 11k. It took ages. So that's going to be nice with the rune arrows. Quite a bit quicker. Finally, a good supply drop. 12 prayer pots. And they are worth 7k each. So that is just beautiful. I need prayer pots really badly. Decided to invest in a ring of wealth scroll. Because I should be using an MSB. <gasps> I bought the wrong one. No! Oh my, I bought the wrong one. I was meant to buy the, oh my, oh, I don't even know anymore. Ooh, okay. There is the first Barrows piece. I got lucky, that's an 11kc. The drop rate is about one in 17.8 or something like that. The question is, is that not one of the bad helms though? I think it is. Yeah, it's slightly worse than a Torag and a Guthans helm, so it's not best in slot. But someone's going to want it, and some people do bring Darox. But yeah, can't really complain with an item already. I'll probably just try to sell that, to be honest. This is actually insane mage XP. 14 KC, 51 to 70 magic. And so far, there hasn't been any PKs. That's why I'm doing Barrows so early on. Because towards the last few days, this place is packed full of PKs, and there's nothing you can do. Got another prayer pot supply drop, and I'm actually doing herb law on the all. I'm currently level 61. I'm making so much. I'm making like 1.5 to 2k per prayer pot. A champion scroll. How rare is that? One in 5,000. Hmm. Okay. That's a tier 5, and that is worth about 300, 400k in points if I exchange it for like dragon simmies and stuff. So that is beautiful, and I can leave it in the store. So as a rebuild method, because you don't lose the points. Things are going amazing. I'm literally making 2K per prayer pot on the alt account. So I've upgraded to a glory and a combat bracelet, which were 90K each. The next upgrade will be black dragon hide. I'm just gonna trade these in. So now I have 1.7 million points. That is exactly what I want. 10 brews. I have no idea how much they are, but I don't have any. Now I do. This will be my 30th chest. I haven't got an item since 75 magic and 86 range. Still no item. Technically, I shouldn't be owed one until like 35 KC. Yes! Oh! Carol's top. Oh my god. That's the best. Oh my god. Nine super combats as well. That is the best item I could have possibly got. If you've watched any of my tournament videos, I'm pretty sure I've never had a Carol's top ever. That's the most valuable item. That's the best That's the best item I could have got. And I just got it. So I cannot complain ever again. Oh my god, this is great. Ah, <sighs> happy days. <laughs> my mate is going to be so mad. Oh! 
<laughs> my look. Oh my god, this is brilliant. Aram's skirt. Wow, my look is ridiculous. What was that? Test number 36, and I got a K top and an Aram skirt. One of the best items again. Holy crap. And by the way, I'm keeping these for myself. Barrows is so much RNG because it's known that people can go dry for up to like a hundred. You know what I mean? Like imagine if that happens on a tournament. So I am very fortunate right now. I have gone dry in previous tournament. Oh yes, followed by the tier five. Fun decay right there. Wait, where is it? There it is. Finally got the black dragon hide upgrade. I'm actually looking semi decent now. It bought for 70k. Torox plate legs. Oh, this game loves me. That's my tank leg sorted. You are actually joking me. <laughs> I've won the tournament. This is the best tournament ever. Oh my god, I just got the best in slot tank legs. Wow. All I need now is an Aram's top and tank helm. What the hell? Holy crap. And I don't even have to swap any so far. I just hit a zero. There we go, boom. Whoo, baby! <laughs> oh my god, I just sculled up and it worked. Wow. Finally, found the time to skull. However, I'm sculled. Yeah. Some ri Oh, and the cave's falling down as well. I'm gonna have to tamp my skull down here for 15 minutes, which is incredibly risky. It's risky and it's also not, because everything's aggro, but like, I don't know, man. By the way, I've been waiting for that opportunity for so long. <laughs> it's kind of hard, because um, obviously all the monsters are aggro. I have some news. I PK'd. <laughs> Get a clan member. I can't see the mini map. I couldn't see if he was a purple dot or not. Oh my CBA, honestly. What oh my god, I, I don't even know. Okay, I tent the skull. That's the main thing. 79 magic. I got so excited. And now I have to refund, obviously. Anyway, what the key would have been 741. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, that's a strong key as well. got to stay in these tunnels for 15 minutes this guy's dumb <laughs> he's got Arum and Darox on him and me there's just no escape it looked like a noob but you never know I ran out of arrows so I literally just had to stand there oh my word I just got arrows bottom <laughs> I can trade that for an arms top. So I I have a max set right now. Yeah, I have a max set if you count the Darak Kalm. So yeah, if I manage to get the arms top instead of the bottom, I have completely max. 85k. Better than nothing. 45k cash. Torag's legs. Oh my days. Another pair of tank legs, which I can easily trade for a tank helm very easily plus something else probably my I'm, I'm i just need to continue doing barrows why would i stop i need to go recharge my iban staff so i'll probably do the remainder of the charges on that and then i'll stop why would i stop if i if i'm getting this lucky this is ridiculous 82 magic from level 51 so at least i have at least blitz well that's if i can do dt thing is with this strategy like, I might be leaving it too late to properly train. I just don't know, like, how long I should be doing barrage for, so... I don't know, I reckon I should just do the rest of these charges. Nah, he's done for, he's done for. The bleed effect. Good fight. Anything? Bit of a noob. I got decent amount of rune arrows. The skull has been successfully tanked. I just realized I got eight Bruce from that guy. And the key worth. Oh dear. The first PK I've ever seen here. And he has a Zuriel staff. And a VLS. Ooh, Darrow plate legs. I will take that. That is another best in slot tank leg. KC number 68, 83 magic, and 89 range. Beautiful. 
<laughs> Mate, my luck is just ridiculous. I'm getting all the best items. Like, what the hell? I managed to find someone who will swap the bottom for the top. Yes. Mate, I am actually set. It's not even funny. This guy is offering 800k for the Dark Helm. It's not best in slot, so I'll take it. 85 magic. As I was tanking out my skull, tier 5 from Verex. <sighs> Jesus Christ almighty. God, my heart is pounding. Right, basically, you just can't not camp melee. Because the world's US, like, there's a delay when I put my prayer on. Like, he can just VLS 60s. Like, I'm gone. Elite. Level 90 range for the 90th chest. Boom. I don't even know if this is worth it. I just bought a whip for 1.5 mil to try and get a black mask. Except, yep, we got a black mask. That was so hard to get my hands on. There's not that many people who have access to cave horrors. But that is going to be beautiful for melee training. K-Skirt, finally got another item. Took quite a while. I can't complain though. K-Skirt, hmm. But I know that people do want it, so it should sell for a decent amount. Second champion scroll, one in 5k drop rate. What is this account? The last Barrows run of the tournament. I am so unlucky. Well, safe to say that was the best decision I have ever made. 51 to 87 magic and also 90 ranged. And I made a lot of money off runes. But most importantly, this is the deposit box. I bought an arm skirt for 1.5 mil. So I have full arms, best in slot tank gear, and of course I can easily get a helm if I traded in some legs. And I've got spare legs, spare top, and a carol skirt. It could not have gone any better.